Hello, and welcome mask. to episode 32 of the QDR Crusaders for February 5th, 2013. You interrupted me halfway through that intro, didn't you? I don't care! <laughs> We're continuing! <laughs> you, did, you just kind of started talking at the same time that I did. So no, 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 no. We're going to keep going with this because that's how we do it here at Professionalville. All right, so thank you. <laughs> thank you. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Do you plan on going there at some stage, Joe? We're we're professional. <laughs> we're professional. This work. <laughs> so welcome to the podcast. Thank you guys for coming uh, back. Uh, last week was a lot of fun. We had um, Cosmic Unicorn on. She was very very informative, and we thought super awesome. Oh uh, well, she I, was she. I couldn't hear a lot. Yes. Of <laughs> what? Aw. <laughs> Because of your poor, poor internets. Yeah, you had you had the robot voice last week. We'll talk about that in your new microphone in just a second. But before we start, I'd like to introduce mm-hmm. ourselves. So, my name is Rainbow Plasma. I'm the organizer and editor of this podcast. And today, I'm joined by... Burn the One and the special guest coordinator and sometimes the guy who shoves the videos together. <laughs> like this week. <laughs> yeah, like this week. Nice. I'm FutterGuy317 and I'm the art coordinator. And I'm Pinky Dash. I do questions, etc. So Pinky Dash actually has a new microphone this week, which is glorious. Yay. Because, um, Yay. fun little fact, we could hear him in Skype perfectly fine, but um, you were getting a lot of electrical interference and, and background noise and a bunch of different stuff. His voice sounded like crap. In your actual recordings. It's, right. That's why I always <laughs> sounded like a 14-year-old boy. No, no. It, it sounded like Sweetie Bot, to be honest. <laughs> it sounded like you were like in a fishbowl with like a, 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 a paper towel roll, like talking through that. It, it was oh, bad. and the best part was like... What kind like, of invention are you making? His <laughs> mic used to spike rad random intervals, and like you've probably heard it if you've listened to our episodes, where he'd just be talking and be like, Mrrr, just a super loud, obnoxious hum in the <laughs> I'm, background. I'm sorry, <laughs> how did that sound? Awful. That's how it sounded. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll, it's not what I was hoping Even for, like, I think three episodes ago, like I had to cut, like splice your audio in, whereas like you would talk and there'd be that horrible hum in the background, so randomly when you like chime in, it's like... Rrr, rrr, uh, yeah, it's bad. It is, it is, it, it is bad. Or, or should we say it was bad? Because hopefully this week, I don't know. For all I know, Pinky Dash could send it to Burned, and he'd be like, "No, it's still awful. It's even worse. It's just Australia." <laughs> <laughs> um, but hopefully that's fixed now. Perhaps it was just me making those noises. Just like sitting there going, "Wow, <laughs> <laughs> that's a talent." Um, You've got a, a dig- guy playing a didgeridoo in the background or something. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> kind of what happens a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I love Australian yeah. jokes. So, anyways, that, hopefully that audio should be better. And that's one half of the problem solved. The other half is you need to talk more about whatever. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a story for me. Well, fun, then. I'll, I'll just, like, be quiet now. Cool. I just won't talk. Bye. I think you should just I enjoy the recording. the podcast. You've heard his feelings <laughs> again. Go hug a koala. You'll feel better. <laughs> I'll hug my plushie. Yeah. What did we say? The next thing has to be wombat, okay? Wombat. Wombats? There we go. <laughs> right. Go hug a wombat. Have we ever joked about platypuses oh, on yeah, the show? You, probably. Those live in Australia, don't they? Probably. probably once. So three minutes into this podcast, <laughs> and we've gotten nowhere. Um, it's, about, it's, about, it's about typical, I think. We're actually making good time. Um, so this week, we've mm. actually got something really special for you guys that we kind of threw together uh, kind of last minute. Um, we didn't have a theme for last, for this week that we announced, and uh, that's because we have a very special guest this week, someone that we're very excited to have on the podcast for more than one reason. So, Byrne, do you want to introduce her? I would love to. Um, this week on the podcast, we have a lovely artist who's actually made us some of the most amazing fan art ever, and is also one of the most amazing artists ever. Yeah. This week on the <laughs> podcast, we have Inohoshi to Dark Pen. Go ahead and say hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on the show. It's awesome to have you here. We appreciate it, especially on such short notice. I think I just sent you a message this week. So, uh, and I'm really, really happy to be here, guys, and talk to you. <laughs> oh, that's that's very. Oh, that's very I'm just g- giggle here like a like a little school girl <laughs> because I can, really can't believe I'm here. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure. That's that's crazy. Yeah. We're literally just four idiots uh, who have a show. Um. <laughs> oh. That's right. We can't believe we're here either. Oh, don't say yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, we, we we are really honored to have you on. Your art is amazing. Oh, that is. Thank you. All right. So now that we've gotten through our customary gush gush session, where we both like kiss each other's feet, uh, um, <laughs> I just wanted to explain to people who who probably don't know about you, um, just a little bit about how you're connected to the podcast and things like that. So, um, we had a fan art episode back on uh, January first, and um. Wait, did we, did did we really? That joke is yeah. so you're old have, you, that it's died. You're saying people haven't heard of that? You're, you're beating mouth. a dead horse. <laughs> okay, a pony. 
No, brains. no, don't say pony. No. <laughs> what, so we can beat horses because no one likes yeah. them, but when it's ponies, yep. everyone's like, oh, absolutely. Yep. <laughs> right, anyway, so we, we had that, a couple a, fan art episodes. Brony, no go there. And um, one of the most fantastic pieces that we got in was uh, something by the name of Quest for Cutie Arts by none other than our guest here. And um, it's personally one of my favorite pieces. It's my computer background. And uh, this is one of the pieces that got on EQD. And, it, and I think this was the piece where we kind of looked at um, – we looked at our fan art. This was the first, like, huge one that we got. And we went, holy cow, what have we gotten ourselves into here? <laughs> <laughs> because because getting getting a couple pieces of fan art is one thing. But then, like, after this piece, it just rolled in like crazy. And, and, and then after this piece, yeah. we had enough content to make two episodes. Yeah. It's, it was just crazy. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> uh, and, and I mean, I, like, I personally have been a big fan of you, Inuhoshi, before <laughs> seeing this piece. And then uh, when we got this piece, it was just like, what? <laughs> Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, I'm really glad that you made this piece, actually, because uh, I'd never actually heard of you before. I'd seen um, – there was actually one piece that I wanted to bring up as well because it has to do with Pinky Dash. But I saw one of your pieces, uh, Colorless Rainbow, that Pinky Dash yeah. – Pinky Dash, you vectored it, right? I did. Yeah, so you did a vector version of that. But I'd seen that a while ago, but I hadn't actually – that was back when I wasn't really – into. that was like way before, like right when it was just put out in, uh, in July. So I wasn't really like into following a lot of artists. I was just doing my vector work. Um, so I didn't notice that that you were the artist and looking back on it now, it's just like whew, top notch. So I'm glad you sent in that. I'm glad you sent in the fan art because it's like, I get to go back and look at tons of amazing pony pieces. Well, <laughs> uh, it, it, it was really fun to make that fan art. I really love it making it. Probably that's the <laughs> only uh, bit, uh, drawing guy working on like crazy more than I don't know, maybe five or six hours. I did him more than around um, five, oh, wow. four wow. or five days. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> How long is well, that? beautiful. Yes. And it was, it was a great experience. I tried that a lot of um, new things I never did before. So it was really great. No, it all worked out amazingly. Yes. Yeah. It's because we're in it, honestly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're so biased, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, just just look at those wings. Like, how could you not love those? Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, since uh, we're talking about things that should we, we just get to... should we just get all of like the schmoozy stuff well, out of the way first? <laughs> yeah. Well, so... hold on, hold on, oh, no, hold ahead. on. Wait, wait, wait. Um, we have a custom for um guests on the show that we just kind of forewent <sighs> or for, for I tried Joad, to I tried to sneak around Dawn. it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, do you want to do it or? Ah, uh, go ahead. Okay. Um, so Inohoshi, uh, we have this this tradition with having guests on, um, which is basically when we introduce the guest um, to kind of give a little introduction of like what you do, uh, a little bit about yourself for anyone who doesn't know who you are or who hasn't seen your art yet. Well, I'm. Um... At the moment, I'm uh, in college learning animation, um, and the truth is, I just uh, I kind of uh, I I would like to say I do pony uh, pony art because for artistic things, but in truth, I do it because I really love drawing ponies. So <laughs> I not I don't feel myself an artist, even if I spent five years in an art school. I don't feel myself as an artist. I just love drawing. That's all. <laughs> hmm. That's fair enough. I, I think a lot of us artists do it for the same reason. <laughs> it's for the for the ponies. It's for the fun of it. Just for the anything, pony. you have to be passionate about it. I mean, if you love drawing ponies, that it's kind of like a self pronounced <laughs> artist. It's like you can be an artist without having to say that you're an artist just because you can draw beautiful ponies. There's a lot of people who are really jealous of your ability to draw pretty ponies. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yeah. I myself, I'm uh, and included, in which I could <laughs> draw ponies as beautifully as you could. They are very pretty. You are far better mm -hmm. artists than than I. Yeah, it just it just happened like uh, it happened normally for other shows. If I if I like it, I did a fun art for it, and it it became really huge. And this is why I made the second aquent. Uh, and uh, here I am, nothing big. Probably not of a lot of <laughs> yes, probably not of my. Other watchers who watch my watch me on the other accent are shouting why why, the, why I'm doing ponies <laughs> I shouldn't do them why <laughs> but but I always been uh, if, I don't know if I don't like it so if I like doing ponies I do ponies and maybe 
one year later I'm going to do something other. Maybe I'm going to draw dran- dinosaurs, I don't know. <laughs> In the future. <laughs> Uh, well, talking a little bit more about your adorable ponies, uh, as far as your art style goes and the ponies that you draw, you have a very unique style about the ponies you draw. I mean, they're so they're, fuzzy. They look, yes, <laughs> that, yes, that is are. one of the most notable parts is they're extraordinarily fuzzy and like every little hinge on their body. And they're also quite horsey. They look a little bit more realistic than your average pony because the ponies in the show, they're just like worms with legs. But it, but you're, there's actually like <laughs> fluffiness and volume and like you show the collarbones and stuff in the horses. Like, how did you develop that style? Is it just something you've always been doing or something you like? Well, it's kind of always been there. I always been adding a little bit realistic to my drawings, probably because uh, of the artist I watched over the deviant art. If I like it, something I add it to my drawing, and it, it just turned out like that. <laughs> and I always, with ponies, I always been uh, trying to do, uh, make them cartoonish, but some way horse-like, because I think we can all agree that our ponies not look so much like ponies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad, yeah. to be honest with you. I just watched a show on horses today, and it was just like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> horses scare me. Maybe not. <laughs> I was going uh, Plasma, I was going to send you a photo of a horse today, or yesterday. Please don't. I'm, <laughs> I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> there was horses where I was working, so I was going to take a photo and send you one. Oh, man, random awkward story. Uh, what is it? Some Someone saw my brony belt. I forget what the girl's name was, but I think I was working. And she's like, oh, you like ponies? And I was like, oh, yeah, totally. She's like, oh, I love horses. I go horse riding all the time. And I was like, eee. <laughs> <laughs> so not the same thing. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that was a fun conversation. Yeah. Anyway. So, Inuhoshi, um, cool story, how, how long have you been drawing for? Have you just been drawing your entire life? Because now you're going to college for animation, which obviously has a lot of artistic background in it. But um, have you just been drawing your entire life? Ever since I know myself, I've been drawing like crazy every day. Even if it's been just a line or a cycle, I draw every day. And even today, if I can draw just a sketch, even if it's just a sketch, I can draw it, I all I kind of go depressed. It feels like I something's missing. Even if I have a, just an art block, and th- that is why I can draw. I just felt so something not wrong, and so it's kind of been always been a part of me. The reason, in fact, the reason is I go to art school and um, and uh, animation college because I really love drawing. It's hmm. it's always been such a big part of my life, so. I can't. I can't think. Uh, I'm, I'm just babbling. Sorry. No, I just, no, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. It feels like if I can, if uh, I can draw, if I just can pick up a pencil and just draw, it's it's like it's not it's like not, it's not me. It's not me. It's, it's so it's it really it's a big part of me. If you take away drawing, that I'm going to fall apart. So. <laughs> that's a yeah, that's a great way of putting it. That's a that's a fantastic way of putting it. And and I think that's I think that's a tremendous um reason to pick a career. I personally I personally believe that there are there are two different types of people in the world. And neither one of them is right or wrong, but there are people who um use jobs to obtain money and use money to fund hobbies which they are passionate about. And then there's people who create passion within their own work and and use passion within their work. And obviously they probably won't make as much money, but they find that enjoyment in their job. And I'm personally of the second category. And so I love it when I see people who are really passionate about what they do and turning that into a career, whether that be drawing or, or um, video making or music or whatever. It's really exciting for me. So I'm, I'm, I love hearing that, especially from someone as talented as yourself. Oh, I, well, I'm sure I'm, there's a high chance uh, that I'm not going to do art as my career in the future. It's mostly because in Hungary, animation is, doesn't have a big place. So, but you know, so there's two chances. One, I go outside abroad, maybe in America or even in just a neighbor country, and I try to work there, or I keep it as just a hobby. Hmm. Mm. 
How about Australia? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of places of origin, um, a little off note. It's something that's just super awesome is yourself included. Like, there's so many people who are fans of our show from all over the world. Like, you're in Hungary, and then we have people from Finland and all over the entire world who are bronies making us fan art watching our show. So, like, I, I don't know. It's just, it's crazy to think that you're all the way in Hungary yet you make this amazing pony art and you somehow enjoy watching our show. And I, Through I don't the magic know. of the internet. I'm co- yeah, I'm constantly <laughs> like in, in awe that's like, there's this person all the way in Hungary who made this amazing fan art piece of our ponies. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's weird. It's something I'm wrapping my head around. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly because I've always mo- moved around in English-speaking uh, community on the internet, so probably that is why. Because I uh, saw some Hungarian artists, but they not really uh, outgoing to hmm. so not really communicate with uh, other countries. They try to be, let's say, famous in uh, in Hungary. So, hmm. but I I take up the ch- word challenge. <laughs> yeah. So, so you're from Hungary and you were born in Hungary, correct? Yes. So, do yes. you have any difficulties um, within, say, like you, you know, I would say that the Brony community is very as as much as you know, a lot of the internet is very English-centric. Do you find any difficulties there? Mm, well, not really. Thanks to <laughs> ten, uh, almost 10 years of learning English language, so it's not a problem at all. I'm, it's always been, been uh, somewhat, English always been a part uh, of my life. I grew up watching English cartoon, cartoons in English, so, so it, uh, it isn't, isn't a problem at all. That's Maybe good. just in, but this is just talking. This is the first time I talk so long in English, and it's <laughs> strange. I'm, as, I'm, I'm usually just writing and not talking because I think my Spanish is really wrong. <laughs> You're doing a fantastic <laughs> job. Yeah, especially for being self-taught. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. And if I if I mix uh, mix uh, UK English and uh, US English, is because of that because of my how I learned English so don't be surprised <laughs> oh no it's really fine oh, we have Canadian and Australian English in here as too, long as so. if you <laughs> just like go off on a tangent and start speaking Hungarian I mean, it might not flow but <laughs> 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 all right so um let's get back to the arts <laughs> um actually something that uh I wanted to talk about was the, your style of wings, especially in like our fan art piece, and also you did a follow up piece with Burns OC, oh my God. <laughs> which had these fantastic wings. Um, h- how did you come up with uh, like basically their shape and and how you wanted to do them? Was it just? Uh, yeah, I actually, I, I mean, it it kind of also ties into your colorless rainbow because I think it's kind of the same same thing. Um, well, yeah. well, to tell you the truth, I, it just happened, uh, and somehow looking at uh, real wings, wings of birds, and how they show real wings, and somehow combined the two. So I not, I can't really tell how it happened. It just somehow happened, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say. It just happened. Well, it's like a, you're like, guys, I love I... that piece. <laughs> <laughs> it's so amazing. Holy yeah. crap. <laughs> I remember I was like doing homework or something from the show and I hadn't noticed that you made it. And then like Pinky Dash or someone or Random Plaza comes up and is like, holy crap, Burn, I'm super jealous of this thing that, you know, oh, she just made you. I'm like, what thing? <laughs> and like, what, you haven't seen it? Yeah. And it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's my background right now, and I like maybe I'm just full of myself, but I can't help but look at it and just be like, oh my god, it's so amazing. It is, it is very manly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Freaking watch yeah. out, man. <laughs> I that totally was the worst did. threat I've ever heard. <laughs> I totally spaced the name Dusty Cat. How did I not remember that? There I was all go. like, watch out. And then I was like, Dos Equis? Wait, that's not <laughs> right. Watch out, Dos Equis. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you didn't say it. Oh. Dusty Cat. You're the I manliest swear I know your name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch out for my wings. They're coming for your mustache. 
No, your, your, your style of wings is really cool. It's like a combination of like bat wings with the structure, bird wings with all the feathers, and obviously like the feathers even kind of look like the show because they're like rounded. So it's a really it's a really cool style, and they look great. Uh, yeah, my hair. I... <laughs> well, you're, you're saying, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to move away from this burn piece into another example because otherwise we're oh, just gonna on. be staring into it for an hour. Look at my tail. It's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> so fuzzy. Uh, Look at my ears. They've never been so fuzzy. Are you just gonna go through no, all of your different body God. parts? And, uh, yeah, yeah, we we so, got. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna stop talking. About it. No, I love it. Thank you. I I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm, I'm happy that you love it. <laughs> <laughs> because I, li- I think I, I really, really love drawing things. That's one of the things I really love drawing about Thorn is, and probably that is why I draw more Pegasi than any other. This Thorn is a question side. we don't usually ask, but I have to ask you: Who is your favorite pony? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's Plato Shy. Ooh, I, I would <laughs> not would have guessed that. I seriously not would have guessed that. <laughs> oh, so you're wrong. She's so much like me, so I kind of felt for her. I also got really shy and introvert. I'm, it's really hard for me to talk to people, ever, even from to my friends. And hmm. I'm also a big animal lover. So. Well, thanks for talking to us. <laughs> well, you, you're doing well here. Yeah. <laughs> I try, I try, and maybe try. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit more about just some of your examples, uh, some fa- fantastic examples. There's one in particular that I wanted to bring up because um, it was a piece that we would have loved to feature if you brought it out just like a couple days earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was your Christmas piece. Yeah. Um, and also, you uh-huh. did two pieces that we'll mention. Um but let me just quickly go over them. So there was your Christmas piece that you did, Merry Christmas 2012, which was just absolutely spectacular. It's got the main six um, doing their own things in a, in, in a Christmas sleigh with Spike trailing behind, obviously the Pegasi flying it, and it's got a great atmosphere to it, and, and it's got really amazing, like a snowy border and background and everything. And you released it, I swear, like two days after we recorded the episode. And we all looked at that and we were like, no! <laughs> no. <laughs> there was a collective sigh from yeah. us. <laughs> yeah. I finished that in the last minute, so... <laughs> I, I almost didn't finish that piece. I had to speed up. Even if I feel like I had to really fast, so there's tons of things on it I would do differently now. <laughs> if I had more time, but I didn't have, so... Well, <laughs> but I'm happy you think it's it's a good piece. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. I, I love my favorite. Go ahead. I, I love I love Fluttershy's nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like. I think it's funny. She's the leader, but just Fluttershy. <laughs> Rainbow Dash is like, you got it this time. I'll let, I'll let you have it this time. But my antlers are way huger than you. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, antlers, horns, it's all the same thing. <laughs> you're still going on about that horn thing. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I know what you're talking about. I know that. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Darn it! This is why we can't have fans on the show because <laughs> they get the references. <laughs> uh, oh my yeah. goodness! Fan art now. <laughs> I always thought that the uh, unicorns are really really small, so I'm. They will always draw the unicorn's horn bigger because I always felt that they are small in the show. Even the wings of the Pegasi, I always felt they are short. This is why, this is why I draw huge wings. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's very, got like, like very, very like overpowering feel to it and like powerful. It's great. Yeah. Power ponies. Power ponies. <laughs> <laughs> like Chuck Norris wings and ponies. Chuck <laughs> Norris. <laughs> Welcome to Someone the internet. Fan art. Someone make fan art of ponies huffing total gems of people. <laughs> what? I need this. Huffing what? This will make my day. Huffing what? Total gems. Wait, huffing, huffing, did I miss, what? I'm huffing what? Total gems. Have you ever seen that commercial? No. Total no. gems? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Chuck Norris has a total gem commercial. It's an infomercial. It's played all the time in the US. I don't know what a total, what is a total gem? You're like, talking, Chuck Norris. Somebody's you're talking like, to four people from four different countries it's why a would we, <laughs> joke. Don't judge Why me. would we see your commercial? <laughs> that's it's like, on YouTube. It's everywhere. That's like it's that's like me being Chuck like, Norris. "Hey, did you that's see that only, Tim Horton's commercial?" That's eh? like the one thing Chuck Norris has ever endorsed is Total Gym. 
And then you just like he's like the Oprah of Total Gyms. It's like this big metal. I, I think he endorses being a bad. <laughs> you can't say that. It's, he's just like Oprah, friggin' Total Gyms for everyone. Just starts like huffing him, roundhouse kicking him in the crowd. It's like you, you gotta watch it. It's YouTube. Just make it happen. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, no. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. I like that piece. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Does anybody else have a piece that they want to bring up? <laughs> um. Did well, we bring I, out the one about me? I, Shut yes. up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know Pinky. Colorless rainbow because I. No, we already did that one. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I think we should bring it up some more. I was gonna bring that up again, actually. Right, fine. For it. Sweet. Do it. I'm okay with yeah. this. Do it. Okay. Um. I really like this piece, and apparently so does Pinky Dash, because he vectored it. <laughs> um, oh. oh, it's so I, uh, odd. It's so odd. I, no. <laughs> it's, it's it's such fun. an interesting concept, like the whole desaturation and um, just the, the dripping colors and stuff. I mean, I, I don't know anyone else who would have thought of something like that, but it's really phenomenally done. Well, uh, I have to say, just this idea just popped it into my head. I don't know where it came from, so <laughs> I just had this image in my head about rainbow losing color, dripping down like a paint, and it happened. Oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> I mean, there's art pieces. Yeah, no. There's art pieces that are well done, and, and you can tell that somebody uh, is very good with a lot of concepts, and, and at least their you know their line art's fantastic, so they've got cute faces or whatever. But then there's pieces like this where, like, it just it's got a fantastic idea behind it. So it's not just like, you know, occasionally, and a lot of artists do this and there's something wrong with this, but there's just, you know, pieces out there that are just random. You know, something pops in your head and you're just like, let's draw Fluttershy with a hood. And it's like, hey, but like this one, this one is really fantastic because it, it's, it, it's so, it's so much deeper than just, oh, look at this pretty art piece, you know? And mm, I can totally do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and it, I don't know. I, I just adorable. think it's, I think it's got like a really cool concept behind it. And you don't see a lot of cool concepts. You see a lot of cool art, but you don't see a lot of cool concepts. And I think that's really awesome. Mm -hmm. oh, it's also the style in it is really unique. Like it's got thick, like really thick black outlines. And then with like the desaturated color and then like the proportion, everything, like how she looks is a very unique style. Like it's not sh like show accurate pony. It's like your style of pony. And it's done in a really cool way. Like the eyes are really cool. Everything's <laughs> extraordinarily fuzzy. <laughs> Making it yeah. awesome. The fuzzy, yeah. fuzzy, so fuzzy. So fuzzy. Everyone says my ponies are fuzzy, and it's so strange. I just added fuzz to them because, well, originally I started drawing, I draw can canines, dogs, and they mm -hmm. all were fuzzy and furry, and I kind of miss it that with ponies. This is why I add a little fuzz to them. <laughs> yeah. No, they definitely have kind of a little doggy feel, like a little fluffy, like I a know. wolfy feel, kind of like uh, a wolfish. Yes. It's nice though. It makes it cute. Makes yeah. It different. Yeah, but, but I know. I remember when you you guys said it on the panel that Bison and what, I was so face palming myself. <laughs> but again, because because I, the truth is, I really really love it doing dogs, and I still really love doing them. And because of this, uh, there's sometimes when my other animals end up look like dogs, and I <laughs> and I don't know why. And when uh, a lot of people say my ponies look like dogs. I said, really? No, not again. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought maybe, maybe, maybe they just saw my other friend. This is this is why they said that. that. But when you guys said that, I, well, it's like, I know it. It came back. It came back. It's like uh, the muzzle, like the nose, and then the fuzziness on the side of the cheeks too. But yeah. you manage to warp it into a way to where it makes the ponies really cute, and it makes a unique style. And like it resembles it, but they don't all look like dogs. No, I they're would just, actually. They're kind of yeah, fuzzy. I would argue. I would say that like what we were trying to say there, we weren't saying that they looked like dogs. It was just some sort of there were some features in them that made them look a little bit more. They, they looked. They looked more canine. <laughs> they didn't look like a dog at all. I don't. I don't think that they look like dogs. But I think that there's a lot of similarities because if you look at it, if you look like a real life horse versus a real life dog, there's not a lot of similarities there. <laughs> but when you look at like a, a, a pony from My Little Pony. Their muzzle isn't their entire face unless they're like male. Mm. Whoa, 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 whoa! You watch My Little Pony. <laughs> <laughs> News flash. Even live. Um, no, but if you look, if you look at the muzzle, if you look at the muzzle for for mares, you've got that much more dog-like where it's it um, bre nose. it breaks down and then it co goes out. You know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I think that's just naturally that's naturally very canine looking. And so when you 
when you add the detail to it, like obviously when you're drawing it 2D like an, in a vector, um, it'll just come out looking like so. But when you add the depth to it, I think it's just natural to come out looking a little bit more canine because the the ponies from the show set themselves up to look like to look like canines. But I I really I don't I don't want you taking it away from it that we think they look like dogs because they absolutely don't. I just <laughs> yeah. thought that like compared to other pieces of pony fan art, they just look a little. And I think you shouldn't think of that as a negative thing because it creates this fantastic style, and I would not want it any other way for sure. Agreed. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You also did a piece where you drew Applejack as a dog. So I yeah. Put that in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just really funny because you did all of the main six and like their respective like animals, <laughs> and I just thought it was really funny because like Ramadas is a cheetah, right? Yes. 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 She's fast to get it. <laughs> that's like that's like a dog. Why is Pinky a mouse? <laughs> She's a she squirrel. Look, yeah. Squirrel. A squirrel. Uh, squirrel. I can show because fluffy tail. That makes yeah. a oh, see, lot of we sense. Don't, we don't have squirrels here, so. You don't oh. have squirrels oh, in yeah. Australia? It's no, we don't have squirrels in Australia. So a miniature my, my, my koala. Wasn't <laughs> <laughs> a miniature koala. What did I say? With wombat. The fluffy t- oh, sorry. <laughs> wombat. Wombats look like bricks with legs, though. They're weird. We're moving to wombats. <laughs> oh. uh, new catchphrase? Moving to wombats? <laughs> <laughs> moving to wombats. <laughs> <laughs> How about moving to other pieces of art? That's hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> moving like a cow. Oh, shut up. Uh, <laughs> that, was, that was awful. That was bad. Was bad. So, um, you are awful. Let, sorry, can I? Oh, can we get yes. the show going? Right, yeah, recording. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I want to talk to you a little bit because you actually tried doing vector art which is hilarious to all of us because we're all vector artists and we're all trying to reach up to you. And then you're like, I'm going to try vector art. It's like, why? Why? You're already so amazing. Why would you want to downgrade Why would you want to make us look bad at this too? (laughs) (laughs) Your vector art's really good. Yes. Thank you. It just just happened that so all the amazing vector art and I just wanted to try out because there are a lot of mm, ponies who don't have that much vector art, like Russell Force, that was the first one I did, and uh, I, okay, if someone else don't do it, I will do it, so, <laughs> it just happened. I, I'm I don't just gonna try I... this out and make an amazing vector <laughs> that, like, I don't even have a critique <laughs> for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's so hard, so I, I'm, I'm really, um, you guys are great, because it's so hard for me, it's, we, for, it's um, probably sounds strange for you, but for someone who always do everything by hand and then using the mouse and dots and everything, it's, it's so strange and it was so hard and it's still hard. It's really hard. <laughs> it's really difficult. It's hard and... It's definitely a different way of thinking, but you, you did well. Yeah. See, for us, yeah, it's, it's weird because when we try and do, um, like, more tradition, well, Silver would hate me for saying traditional, but <laughs> more more cla- <laughs> classical medium um, art like it's traditional. Yeah, okay, digital <laughs> painting and stuff like that. Uh, it's it's tough for us because we're used to working with the nodes and and being able to to go back and um, change things around and stuff like that. And I know Rainbow Plasma has been working on trying to, or he he was working on trying to to do some tablet drawing. Yeah, forget that um, crap. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah it's ah so you've wisened up it, it's uh i think it really depends on what you what you learned in and uh you know what you started and and it, i guess for you it's you know doing this digital drawing and sketching and stuff like that it comes naturally for, whereas for us it's it's a little bit difficult it's the opposite mm-hmm. you know it, i think vectoring well at least for me vectoring came very very naturally to me i picked it up like almost immediately so, I mean, maybe it's just a different mindset. You know, some people, you know, previously, it probably everybody thought the same way when they were in, you know, middle school, high school. They're either like, you can either make art or you can't. And that's not true. But I think the, the whole thing with vector art is it opens up another option, which is, you know, currently you can make digital art or you can make traditional art or you can make vector art. Or you can look at pretty art. <laughs> so I just think vectoring kind of opens up another opportunity for people who normally 
could like weren't able to kind of master that uh it it definitely know. does because it's just like how we call art a skill and it's a practice um we call vectoring like vectoring is very much a practice and it's a skill it's something that takes time to learn and get in the mindset of so like if you put enough time and effort behind learning how to make a good vector you can become an amazing vector artist but then as you have mastered all of the steps and tricks to making a perfect vector and tracing something branching off into making something unique that's yours that's another step where you start stepping into like the artist realm but Mm -hmm. i mean if you understand your medium the world is your pony i don't know the world is your pony. The world is, the world is your pony. <laughs> the world is your pony. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Burn no one. Do that, that, should, that, that should be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. By the way, about vectors, I don't know you guys uh, how do you uh, react it, but I made but didn't upload one uh, more worked out vector similar to one that Pinky Dash and Rainbow Plasma made. With my, one of my other art that I never posted, I vectored it and shaded it in Inkscape. And... Oh, oh really? okay. Mm-hmm. So it was like a it was like a much more complex kind of vector piece. Yeah. Hmm. I want to see. Yeah. Now I want to see. Yeah. It. Now I want to see. <laughs> you can't just drop that bomb and not show it to us. <laughs> Can we show it on the I show? I want to see it. Um. Yes, I could. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know why I'm sitting on it. I seriously, but I will upload it tomorrow. So fantastic! Uh, great. <laughs> All right, please please do because that would that would be really great. Yeah, we'd love to see it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, even even things like that, you know, um, we've always been a huge uh, advocate of works in progresses, and I want to talk to you a little bit about um, something that you've started doing semi recently, um, which is uh, you've started doing kind of speed painting videos. And uh, I thought and, that was really interesting and that we should go into that a little bit because um, we're seeing more yeah. and more artists that watch us do this and I cannot. No. <laughs> I have to ask though, was it because of our episode of where we're like, you should speed paint? Was it because of that or was it just, or have you always had speed painting videos? Well, it's yes and no. Oh. At the same time, because uh, I did a uh, speed paint uh, years ago too, uh, but rarely. So... But I started to do more more of them often because of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Burned. Endured. And, and I like... also love watching things, paint things, so, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just don't do that much because, I don't know, it's just uh, my, art, my art program that I'm using is acting so funny when I'm recording, so this is why I'm, it's not, and I'm, I'm not recording all of my art, just a few of them. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. still nice to see some examples, you know, um, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to, uh, you know, have every single example there Record or every single all time, the but I think it's really cool to have at least, I feel like it should be an aspect that every single artist should try to do at least once. Um, kind of have that process um, once or twice. That that'd be really cool. And I mean, I would love to do it because I, I love watching speed painting and stuff like that. So I had a lot of fun watching three yeah. stuff. And it's yeah, like we said fun. before, it's nice if you're an artist that's learning too, and you're learning your method, mm-hmm. because then we can go in and look at it and be like, that's wrong. That's terrible. <laughs> we can tell you how to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think. But still, when he says uh, we, <laughs> he, he like he completely does not mean us because we don't know we crap means about anyone it. who would like to critique your art. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, we do it because it's positive, not because it's negative. Come on now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah what are you? <clears throat> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I, I mean, I know at least personally, um, I enjoy watching speed paints because it helps me as an artist. Um, like I know that there's a bunch of tutorials out there um, for vector art and for regular art and stuff like that, but sometimes just watching another artist doing the their art is really helpful. So, even yeah. as like a motivation, mm-hmm. you know. Hmm. Yeah. You can do it so yeah. so can I. <laughs> <laughs> and then you try yeah. and immediately crash and burn. I'm just like Hermes. I'm just like Hermes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's really fun to watch some, uh, something from wallpaper turning into something really amazing. I always mm, love love about that most people. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it all kind of comes together suddenly. You know, you, you have all these sketches, and then the, the, the coloring starts happening, and all of a sudden, bam, you've got, like, this fantastic piece of art 
and it's and it's just you know it comes out of nowhere and that's not just because it's sped up but also just you know that's how art works a lot of the times you know uh, you you make something and you and you look at it and you go oh that's not so great and then at some point it just kind of clicks yeah it happens me for me a lot a lot of times <laughs> i draw draw i do the sketch it's okay i drew the lineup it's horrible i finished it <laughs> wow this is my best piece <laughs> So, so what is your um, basically your process? Is it sketch and then line art and then uh, you kind of color in over that? Well, um, first I do what I go call raw sketch, which is just scribbles, cycles, and lines, and then I do what I call clean clean sketch, which I simply just draw over it again, and then I do the line art. Then the coloring and the shading and the background, so on, so on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cool. cool. What programs do you use? GIMP. It's a GIMP. It's a free uh, app program. Really now? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, that is okay. Burned. She's not vectoring in GIMP. <laughs> Come on. <Heather. laughs> but um. <laughs> But no, that's really interesting because <laughs> burned burned was burned was saying ugh because we get a lot of people who attempt to vector in GIMP. And not just that, I just dislike GIMP. Well, shut no up. offense that's to because GIMP you users. don't know how to use it. <laughs> yeah, no, like no offense to anybody who uses GIMP, but you're wrong and I hate you. Wow. <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm I use GIMP. I use uh, GIMP all the time. Yeah, I used joking. it for my sketches. And Ooh, stuff. Don't feel bad. Wow. Okay. No, I'm, I'm joking. Uh, I, I honestly really have never used GIMP before, so I don't know why I just like it. I've also never used it. Well, I, 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 find, I, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> we have to download it uh, for school. Uh, I don't know, maybe oh, okay. four or four years ago. And uh, at that time, I, the only uh, digital program I used was "You are going to be surprised," but it was Paint. Really? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. And I thought, why should I and I try to work on it uh, with my regular drawings? And I was wow. Layers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brushes. Layers. Oh, God. oh, my goodness. <laughs> so I stick to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's For that's today. great. I think and I've I... seen maybe like two or three other pony artists who actually use GIMP. Um, so it's not that common, but it's it's pretty awesome that you're using it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's a good program. So it's simpler than like uh, Photoshop or other art programs, but I think it's a really good program, and I kind of understand that a lot of people look down on it because really? it's I don't know because it's free. I I don't know. No, it's way better than paint. Like, <laughs> like that's that's <laughs> well, how I look at it. It's way, way better. Way, than paint. Way, way for, no, for a free for a free image editing program, it's very it's very good for a free editing program. I mean, there's always Burn, sigh, you're, you're but... just trying to save yourself now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Look, okay, none of us are giving you any hands out of the hole you dug. You're just going to sit down there and think about what you said, all right? I'm a, fo- I'm, a Photoshop, I'm a Photoshop fanboy, what can I say? Yeah, you are. It took you It took you ages to get off Photoshop with vectoring. Yeah. It was really hard to yeah, do. <laughs> well, it's also really hard to switch um, programs once you've really gotten into one because you mm. can just do everything faster in the one program. It's not necessarily because the program is better, but it's just because you're used to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I can switch to another program now. I've been using it for so so long. I don't think. I, like I tried out Photoshop once or twice in school, but I and mm, it it didn't work for me. <laughs> I could always teach you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I mean that seriously. I teach Photoshop. Um, I help my teacher teach Photoshop and at uh, college. So that's why I love. That's why I love Photoshop so much, and I still love Photoshop because I teach it, so I know how to use it. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I think personally, she doesn't need to do anything different. <laughs> yeah. If, yeah. She, no. if she's making if she's making these pieces in GIMP, then to, to keep think going. Think about how amazing her art. Could no, be no, 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 no. Just keep going. Just keep going. Actually, I'm actually. Uh, I I don't think I've seen any of your speed traces or your um your speed paints yet, but I be really interested in watching them um, oh, I as well, yeah. because i i would love to start doing some painting or digital painting in gimp because i'm not gonna buy photoshop sorry burn <laughs> <laughs> well um just to do a tiny little plug here but if people want to check this out and we'll also talk about this uh, near the end of the episode but um the the channel where you post all your speed paints is uh, youtube.com slash double x brony 
And so that's where you can go and check out her speed paints. She's got a couple of them up, and I think um, any I I, th- I think people just need to look at speed paints more often because uh, they're really good motivators and they're really good uh, way to look into the process of how someone makes something. And and that's how that's how I I, I actually knew that you were using GIMP before because I'd watched those. Um, but I think that I think that's really fascinating because everybody always looks down on GIMP, but it it really proves that it's not it's not the tools that you use; it's who's wielding the tools and how well that they use them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> you know, I could pick up I could pick up Photoshop right now, and it doesn't matter because I don't know those tools and I can't handle those tools. Whereas if you need to use GIMP in order to do work things to the best of your ability, I say absolutely go for it. <laughs> Especially because Photoshop stuff um, can sometimes uh, start looking the same too. Um, there's there's a notable Photoshop style that's out there from using like default brushes and stuff. So it's good to see oh, some okay. variation. Default. Okay, I was about to be like. But yeah, so I was totally going to disagree with you on that one. There's yeah, there's a notable there's a notable style out there where people use default brushes that you can tell that it's in Photoshop. A lot of the times, yeah. it, it, with a lot of the artists that we feature and the, a lot of the artists that we interview, uh, you have to kind of guess. You guess Photoshop because it's the most common one, but you don't guess it because you're like, oh, that looks like something from Photoshop. Hmm. Whereas there are some pieces that you look at and you go, that looks like it's from Photoshop. It's the style of the brush. Like a hard round and a soft <laughs> round are really common in Photoshop. Right, and so all I'm saying is it's not bad. I'm just saying that it's interesting to see st- uh, things that are different. I love seeing a variety of different things, and I think it's amazing that we've got people using GIMP, and we've got people using Psy, and we've got people using yeah. Photoshop and all these different tools. We like yeah. different. We like variety. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, speaking of um, going back to a little bit more to uh, traditional art, did we mention uh, the sketches that she'd been making and kind of bring them up? Mm-hmm. We did not, not yet. Awesome. <laughs> um, <laughs> But no, uh, we mentioned that you did uh, like kind of dabbled in vectors, and we also talked about how you start out as doing like a sketch with the basis of most of your art. But you have, as of recently, been uploading actual like final works of art as sketches, and one of my favorite of which is your piece called "A Pencil Portrait to Octavia," and I love this piece. I think it's awesome. Oh, oh, that piece. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's pointing out to me that the cello has five, no, no, don't have five strings, it has fours. And I was, <laughs> what? Oh no. Oh. Okay. I don't know instruments. I don't know. Oh, uh, you see. It's close enough. Yeah. I think <laughs> in, a, in a pony universe, cellos have five strings. Yes. My goodness. In the pony universe, you can use a cello with hooves. Yeah. <laughs> I used That's to play the cello and I forgot that it had four strings, so. <laughs> I, I don't know uh, that's that uh, kind of hits me at the point of like well but look at how good it looks <laughs> yeah like if you're looking at this and not looking at octavia there's a problem yeah exactly <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean unless you really love cellos for some reason <laughs> I suppose, I suppose. the proportion on the bend of that cello was incorrect <laughs> i am furious <laughs> is is this um is this like hand sketched or is this kind of imitation sketch using gimp no, it's hand with pencil. Okay, that's that's cool. Fully, and then you just like pencil. scanned it in and, and posted yeah. it. Yes. Mm. Cool. It's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Love the eyes. You can tell a lot of artists have really unique style on their eyes. Like JJ has a very unique eye style, and then you in particular have a very unique eye style and eyelash style. Mm. Yeah, big big eyelashes, big thick eyebrows. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's adorable. Yeah. Really cute. <laughs> <laughs> I actually noticed that in in the last week's actual episode, Spike had the exact same eyelashes. But they were manly. They didn't have. Uh, yeah, the, I was gonna say Octavia. It, it, it didn't have. To, it didn't have the big spike, but it had like the thick and the spike at the end of it, like the yeah, sharp mm-hmm. pointy bit. Hmm. Yeah, square. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> uh, so an- another sketch that. Uh, you did recently is called Discord yes. pen por- pen portrait dash Discord, and this I I personally love this piece. This is phenomenal, um, and you did something with this that we kind of touched on when we went over some of uh, I think it was Joey Darkmeat's yeah work is where um, your outside line is a lot thicker than any of your inside lines, which is really really cool. Really makes it pop. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's been so long I did that fan sketch. <laughs> but so so good doing it, doing it again. I was like, 
want to do everything digitally, so we'll go, 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 to, go back to traditional. <laughs> I love the crosshatch skating on it. It's crosshatch shading. It's fantastic. There you go. <laughs> How they're going in different, like everything's going in little different directions and like showing angles on a lot of things. And I can even like see the different mediums of tools you use. Like it looks like you use like a Sharpie or something in the outside line and then you use like finer point pens and like the lines in the inner part. Yeah, I, I use three, three different kind of pens. Uh, for the line art, I use the um, a, a Japanese writing pen. Oh, very cool. Huh. Yeah, and well, for the sketch, uh, for the shading, I just use a sim uh, simple 0 0.5 black pen, and I think I use the a real white pen for the outlines. Yeah, huh. looks awesome. And uh, for and for um, and for his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> His eyes really pop out. Yeah, that little, like, really dark black outline. A lot yeah. of your eyes have. Makes him look discordly. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Um, <laughs> Discordalicious. <laughs> hey, no. I'm good words. No, no one's done a Discord licious. I'm fairly yeah. there. There has to be. <laughs> ever since I, ever since the Twilight licious thing, everybody's been doing every single one. So I wouldn't yeah, be surprised. I, I, there is a Discord licious. Hmm? There is one, mm -hmm. and uh, there is a Discord licious song. Oh, okay. <laughs> and John 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 Delancey did the voice it for it. Oh right 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 yeah. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> I remember now. Yeah. Hey, well, I want to watch that again. Go watch that. It's awesome. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hashtag Discord this shit. So do you have a you know, we mentioned we mentioned at the very beginning here that um <laughs> if you're a fan of our show, which is really awesome to have you on here. And uh I've noticed, you know, there there are different motivating factors for everyone in, in each each of their pieces. But uh do you have any, you know, other other kind of outside motivations? Like do you follow any other kind of uh fan works or you know, things like podcast or music? Is there other other people that you follow? Well, I don't really um well, I I uh, not really follow, but I some sometimes check out some Roni musicians and listen to their song. A lot of my pieces is inspired inspired by uh, uh, Roni music, by the way. Hmm. <laughs> and That's cool. for podcast, for podcast, I not really I watch your guys and yeah. some and Roni break breakdown. Yeah, very and, cool. Uh, yeah. Um, for and uh, the last exit to Ponyville. Hmm. I also no, yeah. listen cool. to them. And for Those non pony, guys. for non pony, and don't really um, the uh, uh, achievement hunter Minecraft left space, and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. Uh, but I did notice, like you've done, you've done three or four different uh, musician. Um, like portraits oh, brownie musician yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah so those... mike the microphone is still in books oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> those are really cool I, I i feel like a lot of the brownie musicians actually have some tremendously designed doses and so i'd love to see more um work like for example just to bring one of them up because i don't want to post all of them but um one of them was glaze or wooden toasters uh oc you did a you did a great mm -hmm. piece um back in september there should be more art of glaze's oc because Man, his his OC is fantastic. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I really like I really like his OC. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. Originally, uh, when when you guys announced that fan art episode, originally I wanted to do four pieces of you guys in this style, in this uh, brony portrait style. But then I um, that idea I did uh, I did uh, in the end came in and I did that. <laughs> so originally, you guys mm -hmm. also would have uh, this kind of portraits. Maybe I will do it. <laughs> Spo spoiler! Hey! Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's fair to say we're pretty unanimous in our in our uh, approval of that. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and our appreciation. Sounds, sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not worthy. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, I know. Brendan have three. Then are you kidding me? His head would explode. I, uh, I would probably, I would probably die. <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna bring up something because I want to. Do oh, it, okay? 
I'm going to bring up this one, this Cloud Chester one, because it's best pony. <laughs> <laughs> Piggy Dash with this random edition of the day. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't really have much to say about it, except it's adorable, and I love Cloud Chaser. Hey! <laughs> and I, I, actually, I actually quite like the way that you do the eyebrows, how it, makes, how it sticks through their hair. Those eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, my brows. Burned, you... I, quite, I quite like it. You do, you do it on a lot. I quite like it. <laughs> what? Yeah. Burned, I know you, 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 was it you... Was it you or was it someone else? Somebody, somebody who I know hates when they show the eyebrows through the hair. Not me. Okay. No, not not me. Either. Well, so, some someone someone we <laughs> know me, hates it me. whenever the eye like uh, in this piece, for example. This is a good thing to bring up, but um, in this piece, you can see the 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 black of the eyeliner and and the eyelashes and also the eyebrows and all, all of the stuff to do with the eye um, actually pokes through the hair, um, which I think I think it comes from uh, a anime little bit of yeah anime esque Japanese style. Um, is that the inspiration for this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so yes. I, I mean, I think I think it's it's really good. It's obviously not like everything. Not everyone should do it, but I think it, it's pretty good at showing like expressions. And it's good when you've got hair that obscures a lot of the yeah. face. It's hard yes. to show <laughs> it that a little yes. in one of our episodes. Yes, yeah, this is why I drew it because uh, most of the time the main hide it, and I don't like it. I want to show the emotion fully, so this is why I draw it through the main i don't i know it's strange but no, no, I, yeah. I don't know i, I think it's really cool because i mean it is it is derived from that whole anime style and it's you know it's it's its own unique genre and i i like it <laughs> yeah <It's cool. laughs> just like you said i mean if you didn't the hair would cover up all the detail and you wouldn't know that she's doing this awesome eyebrow expression thing Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Words are hard. <laughs> no, I like it. I do. I like it too. Oh yeah, this I is a really, really cute picture. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, unfortu <laughs> unfortunately, we are running out of time. No. So we're going to have to wrap up soon. I know all of us. Um, probably want to have about 50 other pieces that we want to bring up so i just wanted to leave it open for the last few minutes does anybody want to bring up something in particular um pinky dash. Time. Pinky dash. um what? yeah pinky dash do you have anything no no, no okay. go ahead go. um I, I i like this piece it's called stuck shy um yeah yeah it's adorable <laughs> <What>? <laughs> um fluttershy is so cute in this piece, she's, she's stuck. She's mm -hmm. stuck. She's stuck. She's, she is stuck. And she she's she's licking a nest. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think she it's wanna... also really cool to see the uh, like overlays and stuff, like the the way that you did the kind of. Well, there's a lot of things in this piece that I actually really love, so I'm glad you brought it up. But, uh -huh. but I'll bring up one of them because I know Burns probably going to get the other one. So the one the one that I like is um the fact that uh, all the leaves are very um quickly done blotch so so it, you know we've mentioned this a lot on the podcast but you don't need to have that detail you just need to do it quickly because your mind fills it in when you look at the center of the piece also so i really like that um something traditional of photography is like if you're looking at the focus of a piece other things might seem out of focus or blurry and since they're done really quick and they look a little bit blurry it looks like they're right in your face and if you just look at fluttershy they're kind of on the side of your peripherals and they look a little blurry and out of focus like the leaves and bushes tree in your face blurry yeah. out of focus. Do you mean peripherals? Words. Peripherals, yeah. <laughs> Not peripherals. Peripherals. <laughs> yeah, those. Uh, yeah. Burn, your, yeah. pronu your pronunciation's gotten almost as bad as your spelling. You shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I want. I do what I want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I usually not, don't work out the background and foreground really much, mostly the characters on it, because I usually concentrate on the character and I just want... Usually there isn't a particular background, I just um, add to it, so it's not going to be white and all. Yeah. Something that catches my eye about this piece is um, all the lighting on Fluttershy. Um, you kind of take into account the fact that there's leaves there like that she's in the leaves so it's kind of like splotchy lighting on her which is really cool yeah it's actually flutter philly so yeah 
Oh, is it? Yes. Yeah. 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 Splatter poo. Yes. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, even like the little things, like uh, her hair is caught on the branch, so it does that little like extra, extra flip upwards. Floop. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. Adorable. <laughs> yeah. Shading's really nice. Like it's pretty cool. And well. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. So unfortunately, <laughs> this, this, <laughs> is, this, this is this is I nobody wants to end oh. this podcast because uh, you're. Oh no, there's this other piece I wanted to bring up. No, <laughs> you're too late. It's too late. Uh. It's too late to polish your eyes. <laughs> um, all right, instant remix of that. Go. It's too late to polish your eyes. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. Step. That'll be fun in editing. <laughs> Please. That'll um, be fun. Hope you all enjoyed that Techno Renix by Bruno. One. Shut up. <laughs> um, you know, Hoshi, um, is there anything that you wanted to say, anything you wanted to bring up, or anything before we end this up? Mm, well, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe just to say thank you for having me. It's really, it's really, you had so many awesome, really awesome artists like like Euphiliac and Veggie, and to be here, it's... Why? I'm not that good. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> I think we would all beg to differ. Yeah. We love you right along with them. We do. Yeah. Oh. What they said. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, so before we go into our plugs, um, is there anything that you would like to plug? I know you have your, your DeviantArt accounts, which are Inahoshi to Dark Pen, and then I think you have just a regular Inahoshi even our account uh but is there anywhere else that people can find you or is that basically it well yeah mostly it's that i have two templars to uh, one of them is uh, dark spence workshop sometimes i send uh, pictures out there which don't end up with deviant art but really and of course there is the youtube background hmm. so mostly these yep, those will be on the screen Cool. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think that's everything. Unfortunately, we must end this episode. Oh. Um, what we're going to oh. ask people to do is we've got our favorites folder, obviously, which we're about to talk about in a second. But um, I would highly recommend checking out the original artists page and just going through everything because I think you'll find um, just going through and browsing our gallery, you will find at least 10 or 12 pieces that you're going to really love. And, um, you know, this is this is. A rare treat. A lot of the times when we interview people like Egophiliac or, or say, um, who would be another example? But there's there's some people that we interview that don't necessarily have a lot of uh, things in their DeviantArt account because they use other sites or they just haven't been updating or whatever, like Blitzpony, for example. Um, <laughs> who has been updating. Who has been updating that? recently, which is great. But <laughs> yeah, you that's know, awesome. You know, Hoshi, um, she does a great job of, of having just like – she has like two years worth of drawings and there's like <laughs> one, there's like three per week and it's just you could just go through there and just favorite, 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 favorite. So I would <laughs> highly spend, recommend. <laughs> you could spend a whole day in there, Absolutely. basically. So. I, I, I don't know I don't know what's going to happen when college starts again. <laughs> Definitely I be I be the last time to work on art, but I will try. <laughs> if you don't have at least a hundred more watchers after this episode, I'm gonna be severely disappointed in our fans. <laughs> <laughs> unless they unless they've already unless they were already watching you in which case good on them good on them <laughs> yeah you can be our friend <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> uh, all right well pinky dash do you want to get onto the plugs i can do that yep sweet okay so we have a few things which you probably don't know about but i'm going to say anyway uh we have a deviant account which is cutieartcrusaders.deviantart.com uh that's where you can uh have a look at all the stuff that we've featured on previous episodes as well as stuff from episodes that we have done that we can't show everything that we've wanted to show. So, for example, there's also some new fan art in there, which is pretty cool if you want to see more of us. <laughs> Cause, you know, I don't talk, know why you Because, you know, us, <laughs> us talking about ourselves isn't, you know, enough as it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's more of that. There is more stuff from Inahoshi that we couldn't show. There is stuff from all our previous guests that we just couldn't show, previous episodes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, just go there and see it. Um, you can also see the previous guests that we've interviewed and the links to their interviews. Our, what else we got? Email. Our email, which is qdrcrusaders.com, at, at all one word. Um, 
if you have anything that you want us to have a look at or anything that you feel like we should show on previous episodes. So if we mention an upcoming theme and you find something that seems to match that theme, let us know and we can have a look at it and maybe put it on the show. Um, also, if you have any questions, please send them in because I'm running low as per usual. We go through like what three, four an episode and I get like maybe one or two a week. So do the math. We're going to run out very, soon, very soon. Please send some more in. I don't like making them up because they're useless questions. Um, that's it. Somebody want to do the social media side of it? Sure. Um, we have a Facebook account, which is q- facebook.com slash QDR Crusaders. And there you can go to basically just um, figure out when our episodes are going to be on. Um, you can go there and like us. We have over 100 likes, which is pretty awesome. And we have a Twitter account, which is at QDR Crusade. And you can find up to the minute information there, like if we're having technical inf- difficulties or anything like that. So, Rainbow Plasma, do you want to talk a bit about the OC episode? Sure, we'll throw this in at the end. Um, We're having an OC episode upcoming. It's coming up in three weeks, I think? Something along those lines. And the reason why I can be so vague in that is because we've got a journal on DeviantArt, and uh, I'm going to request, Burned, if you could just put that in the description uh, of the YouTube video, and we'll also try to post it. But basically, if you can't find the link, just go to our DeviantArt, head over to our journals, and there you're going to find something called... OC episode guidelines rules, you know, something along those lines. And go there, and I want you to read all the rules, and I want you to, <laughs> uh, you know, have the submission guidelines and everything. So if you want to send us in pictures of your OC um, that you've drawn for our OC episode, we would love to have some people featured on the show. And so that's where you can go to send in some stuff. Draw it. No pony creator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No pony creator, but um, yeah, we've got all the details in that journal. So for that upcoming episode, make sure you guys uh, submit some stuff for that if you want to. The deadline is coming up in two weeks, three weeks, three weeks. Three weeks. Here the deadline is three weeks. We want you on our show. <laughs> yeah, we would love to have <laughs> yes. you guys on the show. So yeah, yeah, you guys are well, amazing. Maybe you, maybe you would. <laughs> <laughs> and, and who knows? You could end up on the show like you know Hoshi. Uh, that is not a promise. My goodness. <laughs> uh, you might want to. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, We're just yeah, going to have well, an episode where we have everyone on the show. Skype call. Like 20 people. It's oh, no. <laughs> you would be editing that episode. I, who, who edits? <laughs> okay. That would yeah. be our only live show. Just, just put it up unedited. That would be great. Yeah. That would be right, really well, fun thanks. if we could just get a bunch of people on a Skype call and just get them all to yell. Like, you dark Crusader. No. That's not fun. No. Do it. Just, just, no. Yeah. Burn, this is why you don't organize things, because that's an awful idea. <laughs> but he organizes the guests. He organized today. Yes. Yeah, but yes. he's organizing one awesome. person then. Please don't power. organize eight guests in one week. I was thinking now I'm 80. afraid you're going to do that. <laughs> uh, I'm not afraid in the slightest. I want him to do that. <laughs> it's because you're chaotic. Before because I don't get that in. It's because okay. you're like the joker of the QDR Crusaders. Everyone draws me as the joker. Why so Great. serious, Rainbow Plasma? Lol. I, yeah. I'm like a dog. I, I, did you say lol? I, chase, I did just I say lol. Cars. <laughs> just cars. I just really like bumpers. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what to do with one if I got it. <laughs> and on that <laughs> horrible <Anyhow>. joke impression, <laughs> let's end this show. So thank you guys for watching, whether or not you're on YouTube or the live stream. We love you all the same. Thank you, Inuhoshi, for coming on. You're a fantastic guest and a fantastic artist. Yes, thank you so much. Indeed, oh. quite. It was a pleasure. <laughs> I hope you had fun. Great. <laughs> yes, it was. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not really <laughs> much of a talkative, talkative person. Oh, you did great. <laughs> That's us. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Also, we've got two other talkative people, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> we do a pretty good job. <laughs> Myself. <ourselves. Woo. laughs> is it? Is it me? <laughs> uh, all right. Pinky Dash. No, Pinky Dash. Stop talking. Yeah, Pinky Dash. Pinky Dash needs to. Uh, we need to cut you down. Uh, I need. To, I need to shut up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, my name is Rainbow Plasma. I'm Burn01. I'm FlutterGuy317. I'm Pinky Dash. And I'm Inuhoshi. And we'll see you guys uh, next yeah, week. Bye. All right. <laughs> bye all. <laughs> 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 <laughs>